Hey guys, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shite JK, the Rustic Wanderer, reporting live from the Karun Kieros Trail. So in the previous episode you saw that I packed up a lot of groceries for the hiking trail and I said I'm doing a multi-day hike. So I'm actually doing this 85 kilometer trail called Karun Kieros through Olanka National Park. It's a bit rainy, uh, there are already a lot of mosquitoes, but uh, it should be fun. So let's get started. So this is the name of the trail, Ulanka Karun Keros. Uh, actually it means the beer's ring, but it's a misnomer, it's nowhere a ring as you can see. So I'm up here in Hautayarvi in Salla region and the orange trail is the one that I'm doing and the plan for the first day at least which is today is to go up to Savilampi and tomorrow morning I can see the canyon here, the Olanka canyon which should be fun. Uh, and as you can see you start here and if you keep going down, down, further down, uh, you finish somewhere here in the Ruka Ski Resort area. That's about 82 to 85 kilometers depending how many detours you take. So uh, it should be clear to you that it's, it's not a ring, it's actually a through hike. And this is what I was referring to when I told you I met the Marco and a few other local people. They always told me to start at Hautayarvi because getting here is a bit complicated. And if you finish at Ruka Ski Resort, it's well connected. You have all the commute possibilities and stuff there. So it's better to finish over that side. So let's uh, get started with the trail then. So this wooden gate is the entrance. Uh, here you have a couple of instructions and the entry board. And it's right next to... So this is the instructions. So first up for the day, Savilampi, 15.8 kilometers. I also have the route marked on my watch so I can use it for navigation. But uh, these boards are everywhere so it's pretty straightforward to get there. And then Ruka is 82 kilometers, is going to be the final spot. So, time check 1 15 pm, we start the hike towards Savilampi. So, I've already done a couple of these kind of uh, through hikes back when I was in Hong Kong and Japan. Um, I might have had a few friends at some point uh, so we could share the load. And the longest that I've done, I think, was in Hong Kong, uh, which was about 50 odd kilometers. I think we took three nights for that. So this, I am planning to do it in four nights and five days. Take it nice and easy, not to rush anything. On average, clock 15 to 20 kilometers every day. And yeah, it's the first time I'm doing it with the full load uh, on myself. And it's going to be a nice experience, although I already see mosquitoes, but I was already prepared for it. The locals told me ahead of time to stay prepared and um, also the days are starting to get longer so I think I could stretch if I really needed to but I think it's gonna be nice and easy and just like we saw in Orland Islands here the trails are marked in this orange color and every once in a while we're gonna see that rusted board sign with the distance to the trail and I see one coming up so let's take a closer look And this is another cool thing I really like about the Finnish nature trails. They have these kind of like huts protected by we from weather and they have uh, logs of wood inside and they also give you an axe most of the time so you could chop the woods and right next is a kind of hutment you could use. I'm gonna stay in one of these as well so you could easily stay inside uh, and some of them have uh, wood to warm up the hut and you could use it for cooking and then there are these wooden benches so you could even do a picnic so it's a really cool experience that way and this is like a proper barbecue shelter so you can enjoy your barbecue here
So as you can see, the trail is relatively quiet. Uh, there's only the sound of the birds, lots of mosquitoes, and there's nobody before or after me. But at the start point, I did meet one guy. Probably we're gonna meet at the same campsite. So you probably are gonna meet people at the campsites or catch up with some people every once in a while, but you are not gonna have a lot of company along the route, but you're not gonna be completely alone either. So it's pretty safe that way. And it's all lush green and a bit too humid because it's been raining every once in a while. But so far it's a easy trail. I wouldn't say it's any harder. Warming up, been half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, nice and easy so far. Lovely views already, so I'm absolutely enjoying it. Okay, now we cross our first river crossing via this bridge. Oh, it's a nice hanging bridge. And I'm told there are going to be a lot more of these, especially around the canyon areas and some even bigger than this one. So that's going to be fun. Really excited for this. Well, this bridge was super wobbly. It was so hard to take the cinematic shots and vlog while I was there. So I had to stop and maintain the balance, fight with the mosquitoes. So hit like for all that effort. So this is how the trail markers work. This is the GPS coordinates. You've done two kilometers, 80 to go. That's the current course. This patch is really cool. They have made these wooden planks for you to walk on surrounding the water. And there's like a water body here and a mini swamp as well. But this is peaceful. So you're kind of like walking over the swamp by the water. And there's a little bit of breeze which is nice. Okay, time check. It's 3.15 p.m. Uh, I've done almost seven kilometers. So I'm halfway through to the campsite for today. Stopping by for an interim break. There is this campsite and there is flowing water there. Uh, not gonna stay here, but just gonna eat some biscuits and maybe have some sip of water before continuing forward. I think at this pace in another two hours or so by 5, 5.30, I'll be at the campsite for tonight. So I have plenty of time. almost 6 15 p.m. so we've taken a few breaks almost five hours since we started including breaks a couple of kilometers to get to the campsite for the day taking it nice and easy and resting when needed there's a cliff here I can hear the flowing water there can't really see it from here 
but the viewpoint where I was resting at before the river was clearly visible. I think the campsite has flowing water close to it so that's gonna be fun to replenish and use it for cooking and so on. Let's see when we get to the campsite. Taking a bit of a detour from the trail there is a big rock in the middle of the creek so going down the stairs from here it's a partial stairs partial trail so be careful if you're trying to go down there and if you're willing to fight the mosquitoes but let's go down and see the view from there so that's the giant boulder if you want to see it with a nice cute little tree on the top lovely views but a bit difficult trail so only come here if you're able to it's a bit risky to get down here so this is the name of the rock it doesn't say how long it's gonna take but it's five ten minutes this is the trail where you're coming from you see this junction you go down that way and if you wait long enough they are actually building proper steps so it might be easier next time So that's the hut Savilampi, that's where we are staying for tonight and there's fresh flowing water here so that's nice to replenish and there are some people already here so the fire is already going you just have to set up camp and then rest uh, time check it's 8 15 pm so we spent about seven hours on the trail uh, and this is at 17 kilometers later uh, got to this and that's the base camp for the night it's just gonna rest now So for the night sleeping inside the shed in my sleeping bag, see you in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome to day two of the Karun Keros trail and it's 8 a.m. in the morning, time to brush the teeth. I put some water for boiling on the gas stove. It's really cool, this hut so they also have uh, gas connections and then there is also the wood fire that we used last night. Um, Inside these hutments, the mosquitoes grew as the night passed. So at around 3 or 4 a.m., I think I walked out of there, set up my hammock with the mosquito net and I slept pretty peacefully that way. So I had to improvise in the middle of the night. But anyways, uh, just gonna rehydrate my oats, have some coffee and then head out for today's segment of the trail. So stay tuned and find out how the day two looks like. So about 600 meters from Savi Lampi is this 
beautiful canyon so leave your backpack in the base camp in Savilampi it's a bit of a climb of 600 meters enjoy the view go back pick up the backpack and start walking ahead So this is the canyon, 600 meters, look for the star, the trail starts this way and that's your Savilampi. So it's right beside the hut. So the plan for today is to start from Savilampi, cross all the way here to the cafe Luonto Cascos and then get up to here it would be about 22 odd kilometers but would be approximately halfway to the hike all the way from here to here so we'll make good distance So we are out of Lapland, Salla, entering Oulu. Welcome to Oulu. Walked for about an hour, did probably three, four something kilometers. Stopping by at a nice picnic spot here, nice and sunny and windy, so no mosquitoes. Gonna grab a tortilla snack and then continue forward. So aside from the wooden huts that I use, they also have these kind of uh, smaller sheds, they are called lean-tos. Um, it doesn't look very reasonable to be sleeping inside one of these with all the mosquitoes, but that's an option. 
and in some of the less used places they have lots and lots of wood and then there is a nice axe to chop it up and there is a fireplace as well taking a little bit of a detour to visit the uh, nature trail center for some food proper food and that marks about 12 kilometers of today's journey started at 9 30 it's 2 30 now took a couple of breaks where the trail got a bit harder steep up, up climb and stuff but time for a lunch break now Had a really nice meal at the cafe. Now it's time to head back to the trail, then towards the campsite for the night. And it's gonna be here, nine kilometers from here. We started off with some really amazing views. These red cliffs behind me look so cool but the water down there is like really rapidly flowing. It's a bit dangerous but the view is nice. Some nice views about four kilometers from campsite of the day. So that's gonna be the base camp for the night. Although I'm not gonna sleep inside, I'm gonna set up the hammock, but it's 7 p.m. Started at 9.30 a.m. Uh, quite a long day hiking, but I also took a lot of breaks in the middle, including a nice long lunch break, so it was nice and fun. Also, there's something really cool. There's a beach access here. So after two days of lengthy hiking, finally it's time to uh, freshen up with a swim. 